In week one of the R. Kelly federal trial on racketeering and sex trafficking, witness number one, Geronda Pace, said she was just 16 in 2009 when R. Kelly seduced her into having sex. She said he beat and choked her and gave her herpes. A second accuser testified as Jane Doe. She said she met Kelly when she was 17 and attempting to break into the music industry. She says he offered her a chance to audition for him and then pressured her to have sex. He gave her herpes, she says, and promised that he would, quote, take care of her for life. Kelly's longtime doctor, Chris McGrath, testified that he treated Kelly for herpes for decades, bartering medical care for concert tickets. He says he told Kelly that he needed to tell any sexual partners that he had the disease. An ex-employee, Anthony Navarro, said he never saw any sexual abuse but testified that R. Kelly's home was like a twilight zone where everyone, including girls, they were all under his thumb, he testified, and they needed to seek permission from him to eat or leave. Witness Demetrius Smith worked as a tour manager for Kelly in the 80s and 90s. He was granted immunity to testify. Smith testified that he bribed a welfare office clerk to make a fake ID for performer Aaliyah, who was then just 15. The ID said she was 18. A prosecutor asked him why he'd helped Kelly. Smith simply replied that he had been with Kelly since 1984. R. Kelly was arrested in July 2019 and ultimately indicted on 13 counts in Chicago and 9 counts in New York, including racketeering and the sexual exploitation and trafficking of children. He faces a second federal child in Chicago on charges of child pornography and obstruction. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to all charges.